I'll use screen capture software to analyze these videos. This is the floating alien video. So I'll play it once and then pause it. It was 1st of December. It appeared about 30 uh, minutes after an orb appeared in the clouds. I was just looking for it. I didn't find the orb to film. I came back on the uh, balcony and um, there it was. So I'll actually pause it step by step. It's 30 optic. I then press the two digital, so it's 60 zoom. Now, when it zoom in, it doesn't appear as a balloon because further in the video, you'll see the actual legs separating and coming back together. And on high resolution, I think the hands are opening up. So it's just now the reason the color changes um, is actually sunset, and the Fuji. SL300 I think has a light sensor, so it's actually going light and a dark, trying to adapt to sunset conditions, which is handy because it produced a few of these very light situations where you can actually see the colour of the object. Um, it seems to have big boots, very very thin legs. So if it's a balloon, it wouldn't make sense why the legs would be that thin. Um, so there it is there again. I then pause the camera to take a snapshot. So this was floating very gently about a hundred foot up and about a hundred foot in front of me. And here you'll see like black eyes but it, they're like cylinders on the side. So I, I've got pictures that I've enlarged to actually show that. I was actually shocked when I saw this. It was just, I didn't have a clue what to think of it. So I'll just try to capture on screen, screen capture software. And um, I'm just, now this is the higher picture zoom. The first zoom, it appears to be longer. So the actual feet appear to be very skinny and long here. And it appears purplish on top of the a body. So I'll just zoom in a bit more. That's probably the clearest I can get. Now the strange thing is in the next picture, after I film it again, I take a, another snapshot. And in this snapshot, it's actually more, the legs seem shorter and more thicker. And there's that crescent. And now it's actually a greenish color. So I don't know how it could actually do that. And it seems as like it's got like grey pants and there are the boots. How could this be a balloon? I don't know. It just didn't behave like a balloon. Now in the next video, um, this one here, you'll see it actually, the legs start to separate and move back closer together now when they move in further apart. It keeps its hands up. So I think it's in a a, a, a gravity free type of zone and it just there's no weight so the arms just sort of stay up it just feels totally relaxed now I think it appeared just before sunset so it's not too dark and it can't be seen but obviously I caught it so let's let's do it again I'll actually pause it there it is again now this is 60 zoom. Now here are the legs that are apart there. Now there's a slight light area around it. It seems as though it's actually in some sort of field. It's surrounded in some sort of, I'm not sure what to call it. So there it is there again. There's the crest, the thin legs, the boots, the little hands. Um, now I'll try to capture it. There it is. Now the legs go together, then they separate. And here you can see the actual thin legs again, and the actual uh, body looks like a, a silvery green colour in a few of these free shots. There it is there. And the legs go now close together. Then it just rotates very calmly. So this was 1st of December 2013. Now this is where I then take a snapshot 
and produce that picture and then I, I go the third time and film it 60 mode. So I'll zoom in, press movie mode and then two times a digital, so it's 60 zooms total. And it just floats the same height, it just casually rotates um, it isn't like any floating object that I've seen before, obviously. It's normal, like a balloon or anything like that. So I can actually now display the enlarged pictures. And this is actually holding the camera with my left and right hands together, so there's a slight camera shake involved. So the third one I filmed for quite a while because I is actually floating uh, away from the southeast. And I didn't want to pause taking any more pictures, so I just kept filming, hoping to catch any other thing involved. And there it is. It's totally bizarre. And this appeared during the um a, a month I actually filmed a few UFO orbs and spinning objects during those two months so it seems to fit into that sort of time zone of all these other things appearing. Uh, luckily I had the camera on the table, I was actually hoping to film the orb that appeared 30 minutes before and I was very surprised this object appeared. On the 28th of January 2014, I had three huge orbs appear above me. One was horseshoe shaped, and I actually filmed that about a 90 zoom. Um, yes, yeah, so I've filmed quite a few orbs appearing above me and on a beach as well. So it seems to fit in a, a pattern of all these things appearing above me. I'll just pause and go to the pictures. So here are all the pictures appearing, there's the high zooms, and I'll just go through them step by step. Some are clear, some are not. That one seems to be pretty clean, it actually shows a greenish tinge to the object, and um, These zooms are actually captured on my screen, so the fine lines are actually screen pixels. There's actually um, a, a camera on the iPhone, an iPhone app. The feet go to to the feet on the video seem to move closer together, and then they go apart. So that's that picture that I zoomed in on. Sorry about that. Um, next one. Next one. That's the side view. 